This ugly, demon-like thing in front of me is an angel. They are the Nightwing Divine Dragon Clan created by Archangel Michael. During the day, they turn into stone statues on buildings and patrol as angels at night. For thousands of years, they have been fighting demons and guarding God's creation of humanity. However, the balance was broken one day when a scientific genius used eight corpses to piece together and successfully resurrect a body. God is no longer the only creator, and even the scientist is frightened. He tried to snuff out this new life, but the man he created was stubborn. Not only did he not die, but in revenge for the scientist's abandonment, he killed the scientist's new wife. The scientist hunted him for eight whole years in revenge, until the chase to the cold arctic, and finally frozen to death. The man brought his nominal father back to his hometown for burial, but the evil in the dark came to him. The man was reborn from a corpse and was born with strange powers. He picks up a cross and kills a demon in one fell swoop. The demon's energy bursts out before it dies and alerts the sleeping angels. Just when he was outnumbered and knocked out by the demon, an angel fell from the sky. The demon's accomplice turned and ran but was sent straight back to hell by the pursuing angels. The angel takes human form and walks toward the unconscious man. They were also surprised that this was the first human who could slaughter a demon. The angel fished out a notebook from the scientist's corpse. It was written how he put together eight pieces of the body and then revived him. The angels were amazed that this body that had returned from the dead was still alive after the demon attack. By the time he woke up again, he was in the place of the Nightwing Dragon Clan. The Gargoyle Queen received him. The angels felt they should kill him, but the Queen accepted him. She wanted to give him a chance to be a human being and named him Adam. The Queen told him that the demons who attacked him were under the command of Nibirius, the Prince of Darkness. Without knowing what they were up to, she wanted Adam to stay in the Holy City, where he could be protected, but Adam was used to being free, for him to be able to defend himself. The queen ordered her men to take him to choose a weapon. As long as the sacred emblem is engraved on the weapon, the weapon will become a demon-slaying holy weapon. When Lucifer fell into hell, he unleashed 666 legions of demons into the earth. As long as the demons are killed in the human, their demonic spirits will fall into hell forever and never be freed. On the contrary, only soulless people can kill angels, and the souls of angels ascend to heaven after death. Adam chose a weapon and then walked out of the sacred city of the Nightwing Divine Dragon Clan alone. The book contains the contents of resurrection from the dead. The queen locked it in the depths of the holy city. It is known that people who are resurrected without souls are the nemesis of angels. Adam left the holy city and wandered around, looking for the true meaning of life. In the process, the demons kept chasing him. He also became a true demon slayer. 200 years have passed, and because of the special way he gained his life, he will not grow old or die. But this day, when hunting demons, he inadvertently involved a human. The demon took the opportunity to kill the human. Adam chased the demon over the rooftop and was dumped by the devil. He was also taken back to the holy city by the angels who came to hear of the human's death and the angels bound him firmly in chains. The queen received him again, and it was the second time the two met. The queen was angry because Adam's random warfare had led to the death of a human, which made her a bit scared. Frankenstein resurrected Adam with eight human bodies spliced together, a creature other than God, never belonging to their camp. She originally wanted to give him a chance to be a human being, but Adam was full of revenge. The queen had to imprison him for slaughtering demons and even implicating humans. Even though Adam was innocent, the demons would not give up. The demon king Nibirius disguised as a human, has invested in human scientists. Doctor's research made a breakthrough today when she successfully revived a dead mouse using a computer with a different frequency. This is a breakthrough but still a long way to resurrect the human race. So Nibirius ordered the demons to take Adam from the holy city at any cost. With this living example, his tens of thousands of human corpses could be returned to life. Thus the demons began to gather outside the holy city, and the angel statue on top of the holy city was the first to notice the anomaly. Countless demons began to impact the holy city, and the angels also emerged in their true forms. Impact and down, angels and demons instantly fought. The demons were dense. The number was several times that of angels. The angels are strong individually, but they are outnumbered. As the first angel was killed, angels began to return to heaven one after another. The demons soon broke through the defenses and stormed into the holy city, with a group of angels guarding Adam's cell. This man must not be handed over to the demons, but the number of monsters continues to grow. And the more they fight, the more there are. Adam was not used to being protected and applied to fight. The two angels guarding him had no choice but to release him. In this way, everyone joined the battle of demon slaying. 
The male angel who brought Adam back to the holy city at the beginning also returned to heaven under the siege of the demons, seeing that the base camp of the Nightwing dragon was in danger, the clock struck midnight, and the strongest angel on top of the tower finally woke up. Sensing the sacrifice of his companions, Gideon let out a furious roar and leaped down from the top of the tower to join the battle. The strongest angel was invincible, and the tide of battle was immediately turned as the demon army besieging the holy city retreated. The angels also took the opportunity to launch a fierce pursuit. Still, the angel who saved Adam at the beginning and brought him back to the holy city was also wounded in the battle and returned to heaven under Adam's reluctant gaze. But that's not the worst of it. All the angels went after the demons, and the queen sent her attendant. But the demon's target was her from the beginning. The demon leader broke through the window and pounced on the queen. Although the queen is the leader, not good at fighting. At this point, Adam captures a demon, interrogates their location, knowing their purpose, and captures the queen in exchange for Adam. By the time Gideon rushed back to the holy city with the angels, he saw the big hole broken in the roof and the crater on the ground and the queen was nowhere to be found. The queen is their only bridge to heaven and Michael. If something happened to the queen, the Nightwing Divine Dragons would be alone until their demise. Gideon did not hesitate to take out the notebook locked in the depths of the holy city to save her. Frankenstein wrote in detail the secret of Adam's resurrection. The strongest angel Gideon used Frankenstein's notebook as a bargaining chip to exchange for the queen. This notebook details how Adam was pieced together and resurrected from eight corpses. The queen told Gideon to leave her alone and take the notes with him, but Gideon did not comply. He took the queen directly into the air and flew away through a large hole in the ceiling. At this time, Adam also followed. He used sticks to kill the imp in the way. Then he followed the fleeing demon lord to their base camp. Adam killed the demon guarding the door and used his access card to open the door. Here, he found a big secret. See the building's ground floor was hollowed out. Hanging inside the human corpse. Number more than one can see. This is the centuries-old collection of the demon king Nibirius. As soon as he got the notebook, he gave it to the human scientist doctor. Doctor who had just successfully reanimated a mouse, was immediately surprised when she looked through it. Meanwhile, the queen was listening to Gideon's report that 16 angels had ascended to heaven. She realizes that she was wrong to keep the notes in the first place and should not have let Adam stay in the holy city, so she ordered all the Nightwing dragons to find Adam, who finally found Doctor. He viciously grabbed the notes from the woman and jumped off the building as the demons arrived managing to escape with the help of the train below. After reading the notes carefully, he finally learned how he was born. For this reason, he returned to Doctor. Adam told her the truth, but she didn't believe her boss could be a demon. She also thinks that Adam must have been brain dead when he came back to life. But the next moment, she was speechless. The demon lord chased after her and revealed his true form on the spot. This man had been hunting Adam for 200 years, and when enemies met, they fought. Adam despite his brave, was no match for this great demon, and he was soon knocked to the ground. Demon Lord seized the notes and was about to kill him. At the critical moment, Doctor stops the demon, she needs Adam for her research. While Doctor was distracting the demon, Adam pulled out his dagger and stabbed him directly in the body. Despite his reluctance, the Demon Lord can only return to hell with his demonic spirit falling. Doctor brought the injured Adam back to the rented house and was surprised to see the scar of stitches on the man's body. She stitched up Adam's wounds and told him that no matter what people say, as long as Adam doesn't do monster things, he's not a monster. At this moment, Adam was enlightened and found his life's goal at once. After reading the notes, Doctor also promises to make a companion for Adam, something that Frankenstein pledged to but didn't do. Adam tells Doctor to hurry up and leave while he seeks the Queen's help. Doctor informed his colleagues to flee before he left, and the demons took advantage of this opportunity to find her. Adam returns to the Holy City, where he complains about the Queen's concealment of the handwriting and tells her of the Demon King's plans. Nibirius wants to resurrect the thousands of corpses like Frankenstein resurrected Adam and then recall the fallen demons from hell to possess him. He uses the notes as leverage to get the Queen to help him and the Doctor escape. The Queen agrees, but she tells Gideon to kill Adam when he gets the notes, eliminating any hidden danger for humanity. When Adam returns to the rental, Doctor is no longer there. He found the notebook and was about to leave when Gideon came to attack him. Faced with the strongest angel, Adam was powerless to fight back. But during their fight, Adam accidentally injured Gideon. Gideon couldn't believe Adam was a soulless man, the angel's nemesis. And so, 
The strongest angel ascended to heaven, the angels followed the holy light rush in and looked at the scarf they brought back. The queen was in grief. This time, she had to lead the men to catch Adam herself. Adam solved this angel who wanted to kill himself and then directly burned the notes. This note is the bomb that subverts humanity. After doing all this, he appeared alone around the holy city. The patrol of angels found him. The queen led the angels to capture him personally. And all Adam had to do was lure them to the demon's base camp. The demon king also captured the doctor back. And she would rather die than work for the demons and subvert humanity. The demon king killed her colleague directly. Doctor had no choice but to use the knowledge of the notes to revive him. She didn't know that a scientist in the shadows linked Doctor's system to the underground corpse vault. The huge radioactive tower replicated her experiment, and a huge amount of electricity was released. And tens of thousands of corpses began to recharge. At the same time, Adam also led the gods and dragons to arrive. The queen looked at the sudden appearance of the demons and realized that this was the demon stronghold she was looking for so hard. The angels immediately changed their target and joined forces with Adam. The slaughter of demons begins. Adam entered the building to rescue Doctor, and when he looked at Adam, Nibirius showed his prototype for the first time. He was no match for the Demon King, and Doctor tried to turn off the resurrection device, but it was too late. The King no longer needed her. He threw Doctor into the huge electric current. Adam rushed to knock her away. The Devil King lifted Adam and drew a rune on his forehead, reciting the incantation, while the Dragon Queen on the other side also entered the underground with her guards. Looking at the tens of thousands of corpses in front of her and the demonic spirits summoned by the Demon King in possessing the corpses from Hell, she immediately ordered to destroy the corpses. But there were too many of them, and they couldn't destroy them all in time. A powerful demonic spirit rose and rushed into the roof of the building and wrapped itself around Adam, who began to possess him, and the soulless Adam was the best carrier. At the same time, the corpses on the ground finished recharging, the gears turned, and they began to be transported to the ground, and the demon on the roof ended its possession. Looking at Adam before him, Nibirius excitedly calls out his son's name, but Adam remained the same. He wiped off the rune on his forehead and took advantage of the Demon King's disorientation to pick up the holy weapon on the ground and stab him. The holy chi hurt the Devil King and can only return to hell. Countless energy burst out from his body to form five pillars of light converging to the sky and finally falling into hell together. The whole building and countless corpses underground were hit by this energy, and all the facilities, including those corpses, were destroyed. The queen, flying upwards, was the first to be hit. When everything was calm, a huge crater appeared on the ground, and a glowing figure appeared. The dragon queen, with Adam and Doctor under her feet. The queen saved them and returned them to the holy city. Adam was surprised that he had killed Gideon, but the queen still saved him. The queen, however, says that Adam has found his calling and has a soul, which is why the demons can't possess him. He will fight as an exorcist against the dark forces that infest the earth to the end.